So who is Rand Fishskin? Well, if you've been doing SEO for any length of time, you probably would have heard of him because he is the founder and CEO of SEO company Moz, which is one of the best in class SEO tools out there on the market at the moment. It's a tool I use day to day. He is somewhat of a legend in the world of SEO. He was someone who's given all the tips and insights and hints to SEOs back in the day when I remember reading his blog, which was then called SEO Moz. And he built a tool that massively helped SEOs. He's an SEO advocate through and through. Well, recently Rand Fishskin gave an interview on the Landbot podcast. I'll link the full podcast episode in the description below. And he had quite a few controversial words to say about SEO. Being someone who was massively an advocate before making his exit from Moz and starting his own data-driven marketing company called Spark Toro, he has had some controversial takes about SEO in this interview. Let's listen to the highlights. I've taken this highlight out of the podcast so you can understand what the controversial statement he said was. So when you were doing that, what were the main marketing tactics and channels you had in mind to make something grow from scratch? I knew I was going to be doing a little bit more experimentation with SparkToro, but broadly speaking, my goal was to test the waters of essentially using other people's publications, podcasts, sources of influence, that reached my customers and potential customers to market to and through rather than, you know, at, at Moz, it was very much an SEO and content play, right? So it was create content, try and rank for keywords, you know, hope that you rank highly and, and then sort of try and boost your rankings and get people who are searching in Google to come to the website. And that was very effective. It was also kind of what I'd call the golden age of SEO, right? So relatively low competition, you know, you could, <laughs> I would say much more easily rank. And when you did rank, Google themselves was not trying to keep people on Google. They were trying, you know, Google was actively trying to send people to websites, right? To the rest of the open web. And all those things have changed, right? Today, there's, you know, 10,000 very well-funded competitors in every sector. Google is obviously working very hard to keep people on their site and to answer questions in the search results rather than send people out. And SEO is much more complicated than it was, you know, when I was doing it, right? <laughs> you remember back in the day, Fernando, it was like, oh, yeah, let me just uh, point three anchor text phrases at this page. Boom, I'm number one. Well, 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 would you listen to that? So Moz founder Rand Fishskin has basically trashed SEO on his talk. Well, he hasn't necessarily trashed it. What he said is the landscape of SEO has changed a lot from previously. It was pretty easy. Well, not easy, but with, with some effort, you could rank for your target and chosen keywords pretty straightforwardly. Whereas now it requires so much more. There's so much more competition. Google are also becoming a bit greedy by taking results from site users. We can see the number of results that get clicked into a website is becoming less and less as Google surfaces information onto the search results page. So that is something that can be seen as controversial. And as somebody who is in the SEO community, you might think I'm willing to stand up and scream back at Rand Fishskin for saying that about SEO and the landscape of search today. When in actual fact, I completely and utterly agree with him because SEO has changed a lot and it's a lot more difficult to get cut through on the search results page. There are so many competitors for a finite number, 10 spaces on the first page. And if you wanna get anything out of SEO, then you've gotta be at least in position one, two, and three to get any kind of decent traffic to make a business sustainable. So with that said, as a smaller business, as a startup, as a, as a business even who's been trading for a long time but hasn't necessarily scaled to the heights of a big business, how can I in truth tell you that time and time again that you should always do SEO? It depends. It depends on your niche. It depends on how lax your competitors are. But if you start a department store tomorrow and you want to compete with the likes of John Lewis in the UK here, you're not going to win. You're not going to win at all. You have no chance in hell at winning. You could go down the long tail route and maybe get a little bit of traffic there. But even then, the effort involved in doing that is going to be super high. Now, you might say, I sound very negative about SEO, um, but I'm not. It's essentially a case of deciding whether or not it's right for your business. Previously, the answer was always, you should always do SEO because it's always right for your business. Whereas now, my advice would always be, 
it depends whether or not it's right for your business. Not every business can get something from SEO. Even the very best SEOs will tell you, if you're a business that is generating sales at certain rates and you wanna use SEO as a channel to grow your sales, then you're going to have to wait years for that channel to be built up. And if you're a startup or a smaller business, you can't wait that long when investing in marketing channels so you would normally revert to paid. You can continue to work on SEO in the background, but unless you're really, really aggressive these days, really data-driven, really driving down the intent of keywords, creating content pillars, really going all in on SEO content, you can't half ass it anymore. You have to be always on top of it and really on the ball. And even then, there's no guarantee of success and bigger fish will always rank better than you, generally speaking, if they do things even remotely right. So it depends on your niche, it depends on your industry, but just be aware that Rand Fishskin is completely right in what he said. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've only seen very top caliber SEOs and SEO agencies manage to get a small to medium sized business to outrank bigger businesses and dominate a niche. I've seen very few examples of SEOs capable of doing that. And those who are doing that are making great gains in the field because there are very few people who can execute on an SEO strategy in that way, especially when you take into consideration the level of PR and crossover with journalism and content that SEO has nowadays compared to previously. So I think in all honesty, you've got to ask yourself the question very straightforwardly, is it worth investing in SEO? And sometimes I speak to businesses and they ask me a question around SEO and I ask them a question around my back to them. Why are you interested in SEO? What do you think is involved? How long do you think it will take you to rank for your chosen keyword? Now I've even spoken to businesses who wanted to rank for the term wardrobe because they sell furniture and they say, I wanna rank for the term wardrobe because that's what I want to, to be seen for. And I ask questions and interrogate and find out specifically what it is they think goes into doing that and they don't understand. I even speak to SEOs who tell businesses they can rank for terms like that, which is an outright lie. You cannot tell a small business they can outrank massive major companies for terms that are so top level and so you know non-niche. So it's controversial. But in all honesty, I agree completely with Rand Fishskin and I wish his company, Spark Toro, all the success and hope he's not just being salty because he's moved over from SEO into data-driven marketing. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. And of course, this video came from a clip from the main SEM Academy weekly show. So be sure to check that out by subscribing to the channel so you don't miss a single episode or update from the world of paid advertising.